My friend sent me this picture. It's RuneScape 3, but you can see the Kanam 1 prices are insane. The medium price is almost 5,000 gold in Grand Exchange, but he said most of the time you cannot buy it for this much. You have to overpay. He sold a single Kanam 1 for almost 8,000 gold. So what is the problem? Well, in old school, you can buy them from shops. You buy them in one world, then you hop to another one and another one, and usually that's enough unless people are botting shops, but each world has its own stock. In RuneScape 3, that is not the case. You have a personal shop, however, it's shared between worlds. So whatever you buy in world 2, every other world will be out of stock as well, and it takes 24 hours to destock the shop. So it's pretty much only 10 canon ones, per account per 24 hours. It's not a viable method to obtain them. So I thought because they're so expensive, what if you actually fish them? In RuneScape 3, there is an item called uh, a porter, which you can equip and it will send certain items to the bank. If you're chopping a tree, it will send logs, up to 30 logs per porter, depending how good of a quality it is. So I was, uh, I just equip a porter, those sun things that you see in my inventory, and it sends 25 fish to the bank. Then when it runs out of charges, I equip another one and another one, and full inventory can bank 750 fish or something like that. So what I'm catching here are not Kanam ones. These are bait used to catch them, and they are called Kanam Wanji. And they, they take very quick to catch. It's like no time. You can see the experience drops are just rolling like it's nothing. But this place is quite outdated. But Though I think this is more a recent thing that happened. But there is one fishing spot that you just cannot reach. It says you, you can't reach it. So I I think it's it came out with NXT client. It's just my best guess. Okay, so catching 500 bait took me no time. I think it took me like half an hour or so, and it was time to catch Canon ones. But the the fishing spot was unreachable again. It would be funny if both of them were unreachable and just nobody noticed it because nobody catches them. I guess you do need to catch them. Oh wait, you don't. Uh, the, the NPC catches them in quest, I, I think. So you don't even need to use these fishing spots, like, ever. Anyway, catching them is very weird because the bait is not stackable. So you have to take full inventory of these little fishes, put them in the bowl, and then catch one common one, which takes, like, no time to do. But you have to keep using them on the bowl. There is no refill bowl option or anything. You have to use it. The, the old way, just like you would in old school. And that's how you catch Canon 1. That's pretty much it. You can see you're catching them very fast. And that is how we basically do this. But this fishing spot is different from the rest of the world. It's It has like a cycle of maybe four game ticks. Every four game ticks you are allowed to catch one fish. It's like, and, and what I mean by this, if you predict when the cycle ends, you can catch Canon 1 instantly on the same game tick as you click on the fishing spot it will instantly go in your inventory now this does not speed anything up it's just a fun fact i mean again you're only allowed to catch it every four game ticks so it doesn't matter if you're so early to catch it or if you have to do the animation okay so let me try to sell these oh look at this look at this item do not translate never seen 55k and i got another offer for 200 million if any of j mods are watching i would be happy to buy this item i think it well it definitely they added it by mistake if you search for a translate it, you will find this there we go the, the, it's it's not supposed to be here i don't know what it does it's probably some kind of experimental item or something and this took me maybe one hour and 15 minutes or so and it's gonna be worth two million like holy fuck that's a lot of money it's not a lot in runescape 3 it's really not but for i mean this is like quite low requirement. You just do the quest and it's like 1.8 mil an hour by just catching them. It's a decent money making method. It's one of the most forgotten ones because everyone just, you know, goes to the shop to buy them. Thank you for watching though. See you around. See ya.